Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday, June the 4th here in 2019. My goodness, it's June already. We're in this sixth month. And look what I'm wearing today. It's chilly and cold and damp and lightly raining today. So I've got the warm clothes on again here in Northern Ontario. However, I am excited. And the reason why I'm excited is because that new moon energy that flew in last night was so powerful. I'm just really excited that I'm learning how to take more time during the new moon and the full moon. So I made sure I planned my day correctly. And I had an amazing sauna last night under the dark sky and, you know, been drinking my teas. And after my sauna, I came in, I didn't go in the lake for a bath, but however, I came inside and actually had a nice warm bath with some incredible essential oils mixed with my Epsom salt. So stay tuned till the very end of this video because I've been changing up and deciding how I'm gonna be offering a lot of great information for you guys each week. And now my call to action is gonna be a little bit more different. So again, these are the ideas that in the downloads as now people are calling them that are coming through for me so that I can serve you. And so I can serve more people and do it in a much more methodical way. And again, following the moon cycles of the moon. And we've got Mercury retrograde coming up in July. So again, that's another thing I love to focus on in my videos. Someone made a comment a few weeks ago on YouTube and they were talking about different astrology and I said, yes, you're exactly right. However, these videos, what I realized actually was intuitively doing and didn't know it myself was that I actually like to um, talk about where the moon is. So this week it's about the new moon and in two weeks we'll be talking about the full moon. And a lot of this promotes my upcoming retreats that I'll be doing for women only. And my retreats are always going to be on the full moon. So that is my favorite time. However, from learning astrology, now I know why I become so intuitive and I receive more downloads on the new moon is because I was born under the sky on a new moon. So this is a time when I need to be quiet and still and then I'm able to receive more information and then I can pass it on. So I'm learning a lot of this and I'm gonna be teaching this to um, people who would love to join my membership at Tamron's Place. So still a lot of information coming. However, I'm super excited. So this was the information I downloaded today to show you guys a little bit of a different method in the reading, okay? So getting back to the new moon energy. So last night, the new moon showed up for all of us in Gemini. And Gemini is that duality, right? It represents the two. So this new moon for the next 28 days is going to be asking all of us, depending on your birthday and your horoscope sign in a certain area of your life, that you are going to need to make a big decision this month. Okay, the next 28 days ahead. So this is what the reading is for this week to guide us all on what actions we could be taking. So we're going to be getting the message from spirit. And again, uh, this year, 2019, I'm using Colette Baron reeds deck, the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Okay, and each week as I'm sharing these videos and doing the two card draw, again, it's my tea and tarot reading. So I've just made my cup of tea However, the teas and the herbs that I'm drinking also help us on an emotional level because I love to offer remedies that help us on an emotional level in case we are feeling out of whack. So not all the time we're going to feel this way. However, I mean, life just happens and, you know, we get too busy and sometimes we don't have time to slow down. So the purpose is for you guys is to just come to these videos and I'm going to already done the work for you. So I'll be recommending which herbal teas to drink and again, which essential oils to use for the week ahead. And then for the readings that I'll be doing for the, the new moon ahead, I'll be giving you guys recommendations right on your birth sign. So what area of your life, I'll, I feel that you'll be going through these changes for the, the month ahead. So it's going to be a little bit more designed 
for you guys. So stay tuned till the end of this video and I'm going to explain that to you guys. All right. So what's in my teacup today? Well, believe it or not, again, it was intuitively what I felt to drink. Again, the reason why is because it's chilly and cool here. However, the herbs actually still apply to the seasons and what I feel called to do. Now, this is what I share with you guys in my cupboard. If you look in my cupboard at home, you'll see I've made all kinds of things. I love to keep my herbs and spices and some of my dried goods in glass jars. Some of them are colored. Some of them are just clear. However, this is a jar that I reuse. So I purchased something at a flea market type event and it was um, like a, she called it. Uh, oh, no, actually, this was pure maple syrup I bought. There you go. So I bought this at like a little um, country market. So I cleaned the jar, reused it, because, again, I don't like throwing away glass. All right, this is amazing. Sometimes we have to replace the top, but that just costs pennies. So reuse your jars, your glass jars, to store things in your kitchen. So this is a blend of loose herbs that I actually already had, and so I've combined them so that they are set and ready to go. So I have put herbs of senna, rose hips that actually I cultivated from my own property here and dried them professionally in my dehydrator, motherwort, licorice, and marshmallow. So I'm going to explain to you briefly what they mean because, again, I'm not a nutritionist. However, I'm a certified health coach, and I just love to do research because as I learn, I teach right? So there's a lot of minerals in herbs and teas. So this is why we use them. So senna is very detoxifying. It's cleansing. It's kind of like a, you know, a fast acting herb. So again, you don't want to use a little bit too much when I've used it on its own. I found it was too strong for me. So I found if I needed to like, just let go of something, you know, my body's telling me to let go to detox. Um, we're finally starting to see our dandelions here, like they are just coming out and it's the beginning of June. So it's time for us to detox because it's been too cold. So rose hips again, help to balance the heart. They offer minerals to, you know, balance any kind of heart issues. Motherwort, again, heart, uh, feminine issues. Licorice, I find very soothing. So that's why I mixed it with the senna to rebalance the senna and marshmallow. And again, marshmallow is very softening. So it's going to help to balance the senna. So that's why I put the licorice and the marshmallow. Now, I did take some herbology courses myself years ago just to understand this myself. However, today everything's online. So there's so much free stuff. But I do that work for you. So that is the magic elixir that is in my teacup, again, with some raw honey. Okay, so there we go. So let's go ahead and do the reading. Again, if you're just new to watching me, my name is Tamarin. I'm a spiritual guide. And I'm the founder of Tamron's Place, and I offer retreats for spiritual growth. So the retreats focus on women. However, the information each week and some of the um, astrological readings I'm offering are open to anybody. You just have to know your birthday. And also, if you know the exact day and time you were born, if you'd like to do a reading with me, um, that's even better. You don't have to for these basic readings. However, if you want to go deeper, um, and you want to learn some of the things, like if you have some patterns that keep showing up in your life that you need to break through, then you might want to know your time and date of birth. And we look at your Vedic astrology chart, and it just goes a little bit more in depth for you. And it's a little bit easier for me to make a recommendation for you. All right. So here we go. First card of Colette Baron Reed's deck is I just pulled this. If you're into numbers, this one is number 31. So it says the goblin. So this week, this month ahead, if the challenge that you have to make a decision, the goblin is saying uh, the wounded ego, the, the wounded ego. So in other words, the challenge might be because this is triggering an old wound in your heart or from your past or just, you know, your family, like anything that's happened in the past. Pay attention because you might need to take some time out to figure out how you're going to respond because the response might need to be something different from what you've done in the past. Okay, so again, I'm going to ask you guys, whatever area of your life that you're going to make a decision in, I want you to just check with yourself. You know, don't respond so fast. Don't respond the way you've already responded. And I want you to take some time out, okay? We'll come back to that in a minute. 
So the action, look at this, number 22, <laughs> two, two, here we go, the deer, gentleness and diplomacy, all right? So spirit is asking you to make that decision from your heart. So to be gentle and to be diplomatic. So in other words, spirit is saying, don't come out of fear, don't come out of jealousy, don't be angry, don't do it the way you did it before is basically the message I'm hearing to share with all of you guys, okay? So that's your wound speaking because this new moon came in with a very powerful healing energy and this is why it is time for huge change for every single one of us. And if you are open to living a completely different life, then make that decision from your heart, all right? Do what's right as opposed to, you know, just, you know, what you think should happen or whatever. It's like really sit down and think about this. So again, my call to action for you guys is if you need some additional support on how to make changes this month or if you just want to get a quick reading again for the week that this, my 222s are falling on the new moon energy that's going to be the focus for the week ahead is to offer intuitive readings for you guys for 30 minutes. Plus, you're going to be able to purchase a template if you like. However, I'll be posting um a link below here on Facebook each week, or even as this is loaded onto YouTube, where I'm gonna ask you guys to do a quick little survey first so I understand where you're at, you know, what you might need. And each month, I'm only gonna do 12 people. So it's gonna be one person, let's see, Gemini, one person, Cancer, one person, Virgo. So if that spot has already been filled, you're gonna to have to wait till the next month ahead. All right, because I only want to work with 12 people each month. 12 has always been my magic number, even my, uh, my spiritual detox program that's coming up during Mercury Retrograde in July. Again, it always taps out at 12 people, and I've been upgrading that and making more videos and that kind of stuff. However, each month, I just want to work with 12 people, so it's a little bit more intimate. I've got some time to talk to you guys and to guide you a little bit more deeper on what it is that I'm recommending for you to help balance your emotions and then how to effectively use some of the tools that I recommend. So for example, one of my tools is herbal teas, right? Another one is using high grade essential oils. So how to use them. A lot of people buy oils and I constantly meet people that have bought the oils and they don't know what they're doing. And I'm not saying this to be mean. However, I'm seeing this as a huge opportunity for me to help people. So I work with you individually and you know, you're going to let me know what your family situations are like, if you've got a partner, if they like the diffuser running or not, or if you've got kids, if you've got allergies in your home, we're going to start addressing some of that stuff and teach you because because people say to me, oh, I don't feel good after I ran that diffuser. And I'm telling you, because you're detoxing. Understand what a detox is. So when all of a sudden, if you're running high-grade essential oils that are as pure as doTERRA, what's going to happen is you're going to feel different on every level of your body, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And if you don't understand that maybe you're not feeling good, it's not because they're making you feel bad. It's because your body is loosening some of these toxins that are stored in your organs somewhere, and they need to come out. So that is, a, it's not a side effect. It's a sign that they're working okay so and this is not something unfortunately that many doctors understand and it's not that they don't want to teach people this but they are not educated so if you're buying essential oils especially doTERRA you want to learn from someone who understands so I have 18 years of all different types of certifications again it's my passion and it's what I love to talk about. So if you purchase your oils from me, if you buy the readings and the templates, that's why I'm going to guide you. And that's why I'm only going to work with 12 people per month. All right. It, that is my big decision. Okay. So I don't want to be all over the place. And you'll notice some themes and patterns that are showing up in your life. So the survey will be below. I will post that later today. I'll be posting my video here again up on YouTube by the end of the day. And if you are a member of Tamron's Place, every Tuesday night, you're now automatically getting the template for the recommended essential oils for the week ahead. 
Plus, um, this week is the new moon. So I'll be offering my new moon template to you guys in your readings. And with the new moon template, we talk about what you're going to step into with the energy of the new moon, because the full moon is what we want to let go of. Okay, so the new moon is okay, let's get things moving forward. So let's guide you into reprogramming that in your brain and your mind as to what you need to do to move ahead. So the my phone is ringing. Hey, that must mean somebody needs my help. So my phone is turned off. That is very strange that actually I can hear it ringing. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. But anyways, that is very interesting. So Feel free to comment, send me a private message if you like, and I will offer you um, the pricing. Again, it's very minimal. It's, you know, my entry level. But again, I'll be asking you to do a short survey as well. So I can sort of understand where you're at. So we don't have to discuss that during the actual reading. And I'll have the template already set up for you. Um, you're just going to give me your date of birth and that information. So when it's time to connect on the phone, I've already kind of got things intuitively set up for you. And then it's the win-win and then it can keep moving forward forward, right? Okay, so we have a comment. Thank you, Tamron. Thank you, Ebony. You're a faithful follower, and I know you love some of the items that uh, I talk about as well. So again, if you know anyone that um, you're seeing has to make a big decision this month, please feel free to recommend them to me as well, because something's going to happen for everybody. Whoa, there's like thunder happening as I'm speaking. The storm is rolling in, so it's like I'm getting the message big change for me too. So it's not just me, but hopefully you guys are feeling that thunder today too. All right. Boom. Lots is going to happen and it's going to be for the better. So I just want to remind you guys, you have to make choices from your heart. They have to be what you really know is right. Let go of the crap, let go of the fighting, the fear, the jealousy or whatever, and just move forward with your life. Yay. So I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. These new videos, the templates are going to be a little bit different. However, I feel like I'm more in alignment of what I'm really meant to do. And I'm looking forward to getting my retreats going this year and still lots to come, but a lot of changes and just cleaning things up and making them a lot better for all of you guys. All right. So I'll see you again next Tuesday here at 222 here with me, Tamron, for a free weekly tea and tarot reading with spirit. Cheers for now. We'll see you then.